Hello and welcome. I am the great Montezuma, warlock of the Aztecs, slayer of Americans, and soon to be French. Join me, friend, and together we shall conquer the Strawberry Lemonade Sea. Oh, I am such a nut. Joy to the me. We're joined with Little Elrak today. He's currently munching on some puffs. Um, but yeah, let's get back into it. We're playing Civilization VI. Little, little yippity to my voice. Um, it's been about 60 turns since you last saw this game. Uh, we started a new religion, the Death Moths. Where we believe in plus one amenities for two specialty districts. Plus one gold for every four followers. A meeting house to worship in where we get plus three faith and plus two production. And we don't like to spend a lot of faith on our uh, holy people. That's right. <laughs> um, we uh, evangelize two of those beliefs. Which if you don't know what that means. Evangelize allows us to get two more beliefs added to our religion. Um, you could do that with apostles. One apostle means one belief. Uh, we did that by building the Mahabi, Mahabadi Temple, and they gave us two apostles. And then we also got the sentiment of settlement, not sentiment, wrong word, wrong me, of Malinalico. Will we get to make our lunatics have people to drink mercury, and they can dye their hair purple or uh, red, it looks like? Yeah, question mark? Exclamation point? Um, <laughs> we also built the Colossus. We are building the Colosseum. Oh, uh, we, we built the Colosseum, I'm sorry. We're currently building the Chichen Itza. I'm in this very extensive rainforest, which is very good for the Chichen Itza. Um, why isn't this in strategic mode? Jeez. Uh, we had a massive army of barbarians here, and we slowly were able to windle our way through and get their encampment, but we lost quite a few uh, troops through that. Um, we have the settlement of Tinyaka. Uh, this settlement contains the Dead Sea. Um, if you don't know what the Dead Sea does, the, <laughs> the goods of the Dead Sea, they get plus two culture, plus two faith for each of these tiles. And this is basically set up real close to Delhi, because we're going to start ourselves up a sandwich shop right here in Delhi. <laughs> bad joke, bad me, I know. We are moving knights on the southern side of the map so that we can prepare a battle for Rakadet, a.k.a. Alexandria, but not until we finish our score with the French. Um, oh, yeah. Just in case you didn't notice it, we also have a settlement here that's in perfect zone for here. And for there, and for here, and for there, and for here, and for there. Um, but all seriousness, we upgraded our Aztec warriors. Here's the fancy back boys. One of the few remaining Aztec warriors that I have, because quite a few died on this march I sent them on. It was a bad idea. Bad me. Bad Montezuma. Oh, I hate myself. But yeah, we're going to war, guys. Yay! It's war time. So let's just go ahead and do that, because we don't want to waste any time. We can declare a holy war. That's good. I thought we were going to just have to straight up surprise war them, but we don't have to. Yeah, let's just do that, because the warmongering penalty is not as huge, because we have a good reason for going to war, apparently. <laughs> I guess. Are they building the Chichen Itza? How dare they? Now I have to take Paris for sure. Because if I don't, then they'll build it. And then my city won't have it. Let's take this dude. That dude sucks. He doesn't believe in the same religion that I do. So I hate him. This isn't sarcasm. I'm serious. I'm dead on serious. Oh. One thing we could definitely test. Is to see if these warriors. Uh, these uh, swordsmen. If they still have the the ability they had before I upgraded them where they can oh hey bud no he's trying to pull out the wires no Simon here sit on my lap sit on my lap little Elrak 
We gotta take out the French. We gotta just wipe them off the freaking planet, dude. We gots to. But we also gots to see if our men will enslave this warrior. Because I really, I really want to know. Um. Next turn. Uh, not quite yet. Next turn. Oh. That did not do a lot of damage. Maybe we need to bring those guys back. Huh. I was thinking about not deploying all my troops so I can start on the war on Egypt faster. But maybe I should consider sending all of them. Not, I haven't decided. I want to keep this series um, under 15 videos. And it's not, it's not because I only made 15 thumbnails. It's also because I think any longer and I'm going to lose the attention of my viewers. Um... That uh, rattling sound, believe it or not, is part of the game's music. It's not my my son playing <laughs> with his toys. We uh, if any of you guys are into babies, um, uh, I'll give you a little roll down of our day. I made him a delicious salmon with some rice, corn, and applesauce. Um, not too much corn, cause when I eat corn, between you and me, I uh poop out another cob of corn. Because none of that crap digests, like, at all. Not... You know what, Ghani? F you. F you. I hope... I hope you drink some milk. Uh, goat milk, because you're, Hindu, you're a Hindu, and cows are... I don't know how it works. And your, your mustache gets all crusty with milk. You little milk man, you. I mean, that dude is seriously a hypocrite, because... His trait, Gandhi has a higher chance of having Nuke Happy as his trait. Um, so it's almost as if Gandhi only likes war when he can blow up cities. Like, what's up with that? Huh? No one's complaining about that but me. Elrak. Ya boy. Come on, fancy back boys. We gotta find ourselves a warrior. I'll send this guy these ways just in case... I need help um, destroying Paris. Oh, let's get that worker there. Oh, he is mine now. I have him build sewer system. <laughs> Actually, we don't do that with workers. We do that with our raw manpower. Raw man power. Raw man power so the further you get in the game the more little side things you have to do at the same time so that's most of the reason why i wanted to skip ahead i don't want to attack with the builder i want to attack with the mounted adult men because let's be honest that name that uh civ 6 was trying to name my aztec warriors it was a good name just not the right age group that it I was looking for. Also, it makes more sense on horsemen, because when you think about it, you mount those. I didn't cuss. Now I have to censor myself, really? This is what you do, Alarak. This is what you do. How come Genghis Kong is still here? Why does this game do this? I don't understand. I don't... I don't get it. Why does it do this? So we've taken out considerable amount of health, so we might actually be fine just leaving these guys to their own. I wonder if these guys can take out the city on their own. Not that we need the city of Nats, of course. Nates? Nats? Nazis? That's in poor taste. I should suffer for that comment. I should, I really should. Um, yeah, let's just speed you along prepare for the next war so i think last video i got confused i thought thebes is the capital because i wasn't paying attention <laughs> it's not so the capital wasn't the capital is more prepared than i thought it was come on death moths spread cling to the cotton clothes eat little holes through my t-shirts i'm serious i think that's like a fashion sense that no one else is hitting upon yet like, that's a whole new open market. Alright. Let's 
do this. Yeah, I, I don't even think I need these guys. Let's just send them back so that I have more time to uh, prepare for the next war against Egypt. I didn't actually think I was going to win from a domination victory because of how spread out things are. But it's definitely a possibility at this point. I mean, I'm like... I don't even know why I'm saying that. It is a possibility. It's definitely going to happen. I don't know why I thought that, but... What's done is done, and I don't really care that much. They purchased... Um, a water mill because of that extra production. That good good. I call that my good good. Because guess what? It's good good. <laughs> I'm so done. Alright. No, I don't want to attack the freaking builder, man. I want to use my horsemen. Builders can't even go to war, man. They can't even go to war. And see, it thought, hey, we can't attack that with a battering ram, so we're just not going to do anything. I didn't want to attack with my battering ram. Well, at least I have Paris and not the Pokemon. If you think... This is a, l a little crab thing with mushrooms popping out of it. You're wrong. That's all I gotta say about that. So I think... Ooh, ooh, Forbidden Palace. Definitely want one that. I don't like Marsh. Because Marsh is icky. And I'm not a Louisiana boy. Like someone else I know. Um, Louisiana boys, I'm sorry. I know you're dealing with crocodiles and alligators or whatever lives in Louisiana every day. But that doesn't change the fact that you smell like swamp. And I can't just, I can't, I can't do that lifestyle. Yeah, I don't even, we shouldn't even do this. This is silly. Yeah, this is doable actually. Permission to go full force, sir. Permission granted. Don't know what that was. We're way too zoomed in. We gotta get that religion going, my do. Gotta get my religion going. Um, actually what we should do is prepare for the next attack. I think... I think that's the best game plan. So we just t should take all these guys off Paris. Because I don't think they have the units. Let's see how many units they have. So what I like about this is it actually tells you your military strength now. Before in Civ 5, it would tell you the strongest and the weakest persons. But now you can look at everybody's military strength. So we're at 430, which is definitely the highest. France is actually has a pretty strong military, so maybe we should watch out. Or, we could be a fool and just back off and then just hope they don't take back their city. I think I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Let's just get ready for the next war. I'm going to just consider this place as kept. Um, we'll heal up guys here, actually. Just in case. <gasps> or, maybe we could just leave those guys there take Egypt with our swordsmen. Huh. Decisions. Can I can I buy units? I can buy another battering ram. Oh, maybe if I save up for a crossbow. That's going to be like 10 turns before I have the money for that. Hmm. Okay. No, we're just going to pull our guys off. And hope for the best. I think that's not too bad. Because the AI in this game. They aren't the brightest. I mean I am playing on. Difficulty 4 but. I'm not, I'm not saying that's a high difficulty. I'm just saying. Like it's not the easiest. AI is definitely a little silly in this game. Huh. How long have I been recording? Oh no! There is little little Alrak, how long have we been recording? How long have we been recording? 
He's standing at his table right now, playing with the buttons. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's... Oh, we already got the tech for the factory. Let's get Cole. Cole's good. Cole is great. I'm a fan of Cole. I'm a fan of Ham. Um, Speaking about being fans of Ham... I highly recommend trying out the Shamrai Formly channel. It's a pretty good one. He plays video games and stuff and has like a weekly streamcast of all the things that he did on the stream. I'm in a few of them. They're pretty funny. I highly recommend checking it out, actually. Go there. I'll link it in the description. That sounds like playing. Alright. We should go. We should go do the. <laughs> our little sandwich shop. <laughs> Let's trade with them. <laughs> I don't know if that's racist. That's not racist, right? Because. I don't know if you guys are dim, but the joke is that since delis make sandwiches in the. The city's called Delhi. It's spelled differently, but it sounds the same. Like. I feel like if you guys got it, you'd be laughing harder than you are right now. And you'd really appreciate my jokes. For all I know, it's just radio silence because I'm by myself with a baby. I'm so lonely. I didn't have to get all dramatic, I'm sorry. That's not what this channel is about. This channel is about taking over Egypt. And taking over Egypt, we shall. Can I peace out with the French? No, but I don't. I don't want to be at war with you anymore. I got what I want. If I'm ready to peace, you should be ready to peace. This isn't fair. I'm done. I don't want to play with you anymore. Build that, and I think. We should call it good before it's too late. Let's fix the walls. Oh, I can't fix them. I have to build new walls. Okay. That actually makes sense. Um, let's fix the granary then. Because whatever. Go after that boa. Then go after that boa. And then we go after this boa. How close are our knights? Oh, this knight's up north. That's not right. All right, we'll have you travel down here, because if these knights deck from the rear, I think that's going to be a little bit more helpful. If we have some units down, down south, I mean, of course it would, because then we would have more area of range. I don't know if you guys noticed, that's exactly what I did with Paris. I had two horsemen from the back, uh, the mounted boys. I mean, not the mounted boys. That's a pervy thing to say. Pervy thing to say, I tell you. The mounted adult men. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that we can attack from all directions. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to cut this one in short. Sweet. Um, and... I like to commit myself about heaven. A la vista, baby. Yeah.